Hi, class. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Everybody's there? Can everybody can see me and hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good, good. All right. Hello, Alma. Hi, teacher. Hello, Oscar and Michelle and Isabel, Marvin, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Hi. Okay. And Isabel said hi to us on the chat. Okay. Good. All right. Well, guys, um, one, um, great to see you guys once again. Um, well, before we begin, um, I want to ask you how was the how were the exercises that i sent you for homework everybody had the opportunity of doing it yes yes teacher yes wait i do okay yeah i saw that um that the majority of you sent it and that you did a very good job on it um Bravo. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. I'm very proud of you guys. Excellent. The, yeah, very, very, very good scores. Um, even a few tens in there. Is, that's wonderful. Um, good for you. And, um, you know, and even if you didn't get, you know, a 10 or a 9, but um, most of, well, your grades, pretty much, they were, they were all very good. Um, and you know, if you make mistakes, it's okay. I told you this before, making mistakes is part of the process, so it's it's okay to make mistakes. But what is important is not to give up, and what's important also is to learn from the mistakes, right? So if you make a mistake and you, um, yeah, you, you make a mistake and you, uh, you know, just go, oh, okay, you know, if you feel bad about it and then that's it, then that's not good, right? But if you make a mistake and you say, oh, I wanna know what, why, why was this a mistake? What's the problem? I under, I need to understand it. And that will help you to not make the mistake later. So that's very good. Um, oh my goodness, okay. Oh good, we're having more people connecting. Okay, hello Isael, welcome. Okay, all right. Um, question is of it. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. I noticed that in your in your message in the chat, you put like a like a little cartoon or something like that. How did you do that? I don't understand you, teacher. Is um, Isabel in the chat? She said hi and with a little cartoon. How did how did you do that, Isabel? Uh, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't know how you did it? Uh, maybe, but the cartoon uh, was in my uh, chat. Oh, okay, okay. Keyboard, keyboard. Huh. <laughs> in oh. my keyboard. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I just, I thought that was very cute. I just wanted, I was just curious. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we have the majority. Well, well, no, we don't have the majority of 
Well, we have m many people, but we don't have the majority. We're like missing half, almost half of the people. I don't know what, what happened. Uh, maybe maybe they're just tired or or for some reason they they haven't gotten home yet. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, um, to be uh, the first thing we're gonna do um, to begin with is um, yesterday. Do you remember that we we talked a little bit about um, about using um, asking about how how much of something existed, right? Right. So you can or you can say um, you know. Are there any supermarkets in your in your neighborhood? And the person can say, um, yes, um, there are. There are a lot, or there are a few, right? Et cetera, et cetera. So just I just want to make sure that, clarify that everybody understands how to do that. So I'm just going to um, I'm going to sh um, share with you give me a second give me one second okay all right so I'm going to share with you um, the word document oops Sorry, no, 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 so, sorry, I don't know, okay, hold on. Okay. Tell me when you can see the Word document. Yes, teacher. Yeah, we can see. So, um, just a quick reminder, um, we learned a little bit about countdowns, right? Countdowns. All right, who can remember what, who can tell me what are countdowns or not, not, yeah, who can tell me what countdowns are? Don't give me examples, tell me what it is. What else? Any? Yeah. Okay, give me a definition. Give me a definition of count nouns. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. It okay. sounds simple. It's a count exactly. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. We can count the amount exactly. Now, give me examples of some count nouns. Water. Computers. T. Cars. Opening. Cell phones. Tables. Apple. Persons. Sorry, what was that? Person. People. Of people. Or, orange. Okay, good. I'm, I'm going to stop there because if I don't stop there, we're going to be here forever, right? I mean, there are infinite amount of count nouns, okay? So, um, now let's talk about non-count nouns. Okay, just give me a moment. Non-count nouns. Okay. And now can you tell uh, tell me what count nouns are? I want to know the definition, not examples. Um, 
Drinks. Rice. Honey. Okay, I, I don't want examples right now. I want you to tell me what it is. Something that uh, cannot be counted. Exactly. It's, a, it's, it's a not exactly contained. Count. Yeah, exactly. It's an object or some or or a noun, right? That is not possible Water. to count. Weather. The incountable things in the life. Sure. Water, sugar, okay. coffee. All right. Now you can give me now examples. Give me examples of noun kind. Water. Rice. Air. Lies. Oxygen. Money. Low. Coffee. Coffee. Um, love uh, sun sun is, is arena a uh, sun or your love sal salt sal Okay, good. I'm going to stop there for a moment because, um, like I said, count nouns as well. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, it's, you know, it goes, it can go on forever. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you all of the possibilities, right? But I, I can see that you guys know at least some, what, what basically they are, right? So that's what, that's what's important. Okay. So um, when you are, so you have to be careful and understand which ones are count nouns and which ones are non-count nouns, okay? Once you understand that, it's quite easy to be able to um, to figure out what you what what word you're going to be using, what quantifier you're going to be using, okay? So I'm um, first of all I'm going to um, separate and count nouns. Hold on, count nouns. And non count nouns. Okay, so we're going to be uh, divided into that those two categories. Okay, um, so for for count nouns, the words that we're going to be using for non for count nouns. So actually, let me do it like this. Um, Okay, so for count nouns, when somebody asks you, for example, how many, um, how many, or no, it's better, so just simply, are there any, um, are there any parks in your neighborhood? Okay, are there any parks in your neighborhood? So what words we can use? Yeah, you can say yes, there are a lot. Okay, so we can say there are a lot. 
Um, another word we can say, yes, there are many. Okay, because we're talking about parks and parks that we can count, right? So this is a count now. So we can say, yes, there are a lot, there are many. Um, we can also say um, there are a little. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Okay. It's a few. A few, exactly. My mistake. Okay. So we can say there are a few. Okay. And we can, or we can say there aren't any. Okay. So we can say there aren't any, right? And I'm going to put the word not in, in parentheses because um, the not would go with the verb. Okay. And that's how we would do it. Okay. The not goes with the verb. Or we can also say none. None, there are none. So that means zero. Okay. All right. Now, uh, with non count nouns, with non count nouns, what we do is uh, we can say, for example, if I ask you, um, is there a is there no, yeah, I is there any pollution in your city? You can also answer there is a lot. Okay, that's another, that's one way that we can say it. Now, if I ask you, is there a lot of pollution in your city? I can say, we, I can't say there is much, many, because many is only used for noun count, for count nouns, and, and pollution is a non-count noun. So what we can say is say, there is, there, yes, there is, um, we, we could say there is much, um, but hold on, but it's not actually very common. Uh, so most of the time, the much is going to be used with negative. Okay, okay. So most of the time, we're going to be using it with negative. Okay, so there isn't much. Okay, there isn't much. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you're so normally the word much doesn't go by itself. You don't normally answer yes. There is much. Normally, if you want to say, you would say yes. There is a lot. Now we can use much, but only if it's negative. For example, there isn't much. Isn't in the negative. Okay. Um, and. We can say, okay, is there a lot of pollution in your city? And we can say, there is a little. Okay, so that's the possibility. There is a little. Hay un poco. A little. Okay. A little. And the same thing with the, this is the same thing with the, the any. We can also use any. Okay. Um, so we can say, there is there isn't any no i okay or if you want to also say that it's zero we would say there is none okay so those are like basically the ones that are equivalent okay so a lot a lot many becomes much or not much a few is becomes a little and not any, not any the same, none and none are the same. Is that clear for everybody? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Just that, something to keep in mind, this is going from, this is going from zero, and the, and the higher we go, the higher the number is. So none and not any is like zero. A few is like, eh, it's a small quantity, but it exists. Many, that means there's, there are, the quantity is medium. And a lot, it means the quantity is um, large. 
is is big it's a very big quantity right does that make sense okay all right so um and the same thing here with non-count nouns we would have um the the not any and none it means zero okay and a little it means that the quantity is small okay not much not much it means that it exists but it's like a smaller like a medium size and a lot is a big amount okay so it's going from zero to more okay it's como va de, va en ascendencia acá, right? so the zero a más okay going up here it's more okay does that make sense everybody Yes, teach. Just a reminder um, that this is for when you ask questions like, for example, if for count nouns, we can ask questions like, um, we can use, for example, are there any, um, are there any parks? Parks, are there any parks? Okay then you can say yes a lot or yes many or yes a few or no there aren't any or no there are none okay so and for this one the question would be uh for example is there any Any pollution? Is there any, sorry, pollution? Is there any pollution? No. Let me eliminate that. Okay, pollution, there you go. Is there any pollution? Yes, a lot. Mm, not much. Mm, a little? No, not any. Or none. But there's another question that we can also ask if we want to be more specific, okay? And the question that we could ask is, for example, we can ask, we can ask how many parks are there? How many parks are there? ¿Cuántos parques hay? And then you can say, Oh, there are a lot, there are many, there are a few. There aren't any, there are none. That's another word. How many is asking for a specific quantity, right? Cuantos. Cuant no solamente quiero preguntar si hay parques, si existen, pero cuantos hay. Okay, so that could be a possibility. Does that make sense? Is this clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. And the same thing here. Um, I'm going to be asking for non count nouns, I would be asking how much pollution is there? How much pollution is there? Want to Cuánta contaminación existe? Okay. All right. So that that's a possibility as well. Okay. Now, so that's uh, so we're using the word how much and how many. Okay. Uh, remember that many is for um, for not for countable nouns. That's why you use how many. 
Okay, let me change that to the purple. Okay, and how much, much is for non-count nouns. Okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, it's clear. Yeah. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, having said that, guys, I'm going to stop sharing this moment. And I'm going to get you guys to work. Okay. I'm casi tengo a la mayoría aquí. Okay, chicos, voy a, voy a aprovechar que tengo a la mayoría acá. Antes que hagamos el próximo ejercicio, quiero mencionarles algo. Eso lo voy a decir en español para que esté completamente claro. Eh, solo quería tomar un tiempito para recordarles de la plataforma. Uh, ¿Cuántos de ustedes? Oh, hi. Uh, uh, um, ¿Cuántos de ustedes han, han estado trabajando en la plataforma? Tal vez pueden levantar ahí la mano. Okay, excelente. Jenny, have you been working on the platform? Jenny, no le escuché. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfecto. Okay, excelente. Okay, entonces parece ser, okay, al parecer, uh, creo que todos. Excelente. Ahora, Lo que quiero es asegurarme que no solo están trabajando en la plataforma, sino que estén haciéndolo, eh, que estén ustedes trabajando uh, en la sección que deben de estar. ¿Okay? En este momento, la sección donde deben de estar es la sección 3. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh, prácticamente ustedes ya deberían de estar terminando la sección 3. Estamos a mitad de curso ahorita, literalmente a la mitad. Hoy es el último día de la segunda semana. Solo son cuatro semanas. Entonces, ustedes tienen exactamente dos semanas um, que faltan para poder completar la plataforma. Acuérdense de que la uh, acuérdense que el requisito de Insafor para poder continuar. Son, son tres cosas que tienen que hacer. Lo primero es, tienen que completar la, 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 la plataforma, ¿verdad? Tienen que hacerlo. Es, es, o sea, tienen que trabajar la plataforma, eso es lo primero. Segundo, tienen que obtener un, un 80% en la plataforma o más. Ok. Ok. Uh, Okay, Mauricio, you've been having problems on 4.6. Okay, yeah, but the thing is that if you go ahead of the, it's probably because of that since we haven't seen the information yet, but don't worry, I will help you later, okay? Um, but you should, right now we are, we are only going to be talking about sections 1, 2, and 3. Richard, and if I go ahead, there is a problem? No. No, there's no problem at all. Okay. The only problem, the only problem that I see is that you may not understand the topics. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem I see because, um, but if you want to finish the whole platform right now, that's fine. If you okay. understand it, great. Mm -hmm. O sea, lo único, el único problema que yo veo que estás es de que, de que si, si siguen, y no entienden bien el, el tema, la nota no les va a salir tan alta, ¿verdad? Pero la ventaja es de que la plataforma le permite seguir intentando, ¿verdad? Así que no la entiende una vez, puede seguir otra vez y otra vez y otra vez hasta que por fin la entienda, ¿verdad? L eh, entonces, en sí, problema, problema que no, no hay, ¿verdad? 
pero solo eso, ¿verdad? Que quizás se puede ser que se frustre, eso es todo, tal vez. Pero no, se puede seguir y puede terminar eh, hasta el, el, el examen final si quiere ahorita. No hay problema, ¿ok? Con solo que obtenga un 80 más. Entonces, y, y como les vuelvo a decir, eh, la plataforma es tan generosa que le dice a usted, si usted se equivoca ahorita, pero en la próxima vez lo tiene perfecto, entonces la nota que guarda es la, la última, ¿verdad? La, la más alta, porque la idea es que entre más usted practica, más usted aprende. Entonces, eh, usted puede hacerlo cuantas veces usted quiera. Esa es la gran ventaja, hasta el día que se cierra. Cuando ya está cerrado, ya no. O oh, la otra cosa es la siguiente, se me olvidó explicar, es esto. Que si usted le da, que ya le imprima el certificado, ahí se ya no se puede no cambiar la nota. ¿Ok? Entonces, aunque usted pueda seguir practicando y practicando, ya la nota ahí le quedó. Como, como si, le, si la nota le quedó a 7.7, así le va a quedar ni modo. O sea, ya no, ya no se puede hacer nada. Entonces, tenga mucho cuidado de no imprimir de uh, ser certificado hasta que usted esté satisfecho con la nota ok mientras tanto se puede seguir practicando yes Lorena y que tiene de my telephone uh, message that, that I can inscribe in the next course it's correct to do it right now if, if we are not finished Yes, correct, Lorena. Esto es también la, la otra razón por qué les estoy, estoy apretando este tiempito para poder hablar con ustedes. Por esa, precisamente porque, como les digo, hay tres requisitos. La primera, ya les dije que tienen que uh, trabajar y completar el, la plataforma. Dos, tienen que tener un 80 o más. Si usted completó la plataforma pero tiene 7.7, sorry. 7.9, sorry, no se puede. Tiene que ser un 80% o más. Si tiene más, perfecto, excelente, ¿verdad? Si, quiere, si, si usted obtuvo un 8, 85% y lo quiere seguir aumentando, también puede, no hay problema. Pero también se puede quedar 85, ¿verdad? Eso no hay ningún inconveniente. Tiene que ser 80 o más. Ese es el segundo requisito. Tercer requisito es haber completado y entregado toda la documentación que se necesita para el próximo curso. Si usted ha hecho la plataforma, tiene un 99%, pero usted no ha entregado los documentos, sorry, no se va a poder inscribir al próximo. No la, la, la beca, no teacher, sí. la, fe, la fecha límite es el 10, dice. Correcto. Así que ya vean ahí la fecha en que estamos a 4. 10, estamos hablando de que solo son menos de una semana. Y mi gran sugerencia es no, no esperen hasta el 10 para entregarlo. Porque qué pasa si usted entrega el 10 y le dicen, mire, fíjese que este documento no está correcto. Y usted, y usted no tiene tiempo ese día para poder corregirlo y mandarlo. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Se va a quedar afuera? Entonces, eh, yo sí los, les sugiero que si, si van a um, entregar los documentos, eh, que lo hagan unos cuantos días antes, sí, uno no sé, unos dos días antes por lo menos, para asegurarse que tengan su documento. Puede ser de que se haya, eh, se extravíe, por ejemplo, hay pas pasa que se extravían los documentos. Son cosas que pasan. Entonces, de repente, pero es que yo lo mandé. Pero, pues sí, pero no lo recibimos. Y si no lo recibimos, no lo podemos mandar a Insapor. Entonces, todos esos, esos detallitos necesitan asegurarse de que, de, de que no les pase, ¿verdad? Tener, y si les pasa, pues tener suficiente tiempo para poder um, ver toda esa información, ¿verdad? Y poder mandarlo a tiempo. Entonces, si les han dicho el 10... Entréguenlo antes. No, 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 no sean como el buen salvadoreño, ¿verdad? Que, que lo entrega al, a las 11.59, ¿verdad? De, del día 10. ¿Ok? <ríe> en este caso no vale ser buen salvadoreño de esa forma. ¿Ok? Entonces, por favor, traten de hacerlo temprano. Y, um, y también otra cosa, acuérdense que 
los documentos se entregan siempre antes de cada módulo y aunque usted haya entregado anteriormente ciertos documentos se le vuelve a pedir nuevamente porque es una solicitud nueva de la beca entonces usted le entregó la, el, el curso pasado ta x documento pues se necesita nuevamente hacer entregar ese documento es más yo personalmente yo le digo yo si fuera ustedes yo haría bastantes copias del mismo documento de una sola vez y así ya tenerlos listos y poder mandarlo. Así, o sea, yo personalmente haría eso. Si ustedes saben que, que, que siempre se les va a pedir el mismo documento, mejor sáquenle varias copias en vez de estar cada día diciendo a sacar una nueva. ¿verdad? Ya la tienen en la casita y ya está listo. Y ya solo para mandar. ¿Ok? Entonces, una sugerencia para que todo se agilice y, um, y la, la fecha creo que ahí se menciona verdad creo que sí que la fecha prevista es para el 22 pero es siempre y cuando que ustedes todos se comprometan a meter los documentos a tiempo porque si todos se me atrasan y, y, y nadie entrega tiempo entonces no podemos empezar la clase el 22 verdad entonces va a depender de ustedes verdad de que, de que todos hagan a, las cosas a tiempo y que um, de esa forma no pierdan ustedes ni el cupo ni el tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque si usted, usted puede, o sea, el, el hecho que usted no, me, no meta documento no significa que usted no puede continuar con el programa. Simplemente va a tener que esperarse hasta que se abra nuevamente ese mismo curso que es donde usted quiere inscribirse. Entonces ahí va a perder tiempo, ¿verdad? Así que, ay, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Teacher, la, la solicitud es la misma siempre, ¿verdad? Sí, me parece que sí. Ustedes sí, bueno, cada ese... quien lo ha recibido, ¿verdad? Y creo que pueden ver, claro, Ajá. que van a tener que, que meter información un poco distinta, ¿verdad? Porque va a decir el, el módulo donde usted quiera ahora aplicar, ¿verdad? Que va a ser otro nuevo. Pero creo que sí. Ajá. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ok. Bueno, si se les ocurre alguna Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome, Noemi. Eh, quise man, eh, tomarme este tiempito um, para, para esto porque creo que es importante. Porque yo quiero que todos puedan pasar para el próximo curso. No, no quiero que nadie se me quede, ¿verdad? Solo por, por una documentación, ¿verdad? No sería, sería, pues, pues sí, no, no, no sería una buena idea estar perdiendo tanto tiempo solamente por no meter las cosas a tiempo, ¿verdad? Y, y no, o no cumplir con ello. Um, ah, y por cierto, acuérdese una, un detallito bien importante, que si usted no obtiene un 80% o más, no solamente no puede continuar el próximo curso, sino que también usted pierde la beca. Eh, y, y es que si se piensa realmente tiene sentido, porque es una beca, al final eso es lo que es una beca. Y ustedes saben que en todo lugar que le proporciona una beca, le van a pedir ciertos requisitos ¿verdad? para poder mantener la beca. ¿verdad? O sea, en ningún lugar le va a dar una beca solo por así. ¿verdad? Entonces, y esto es una beta no mitad de beca, esta es una beta pe beca completa. Entonces, eh, lo único que están pidiendo es invierta suficiente tiempo para completar la, 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 el curso en línea, ¿verdad? La plataforma y tener un 80% más. Eso es todo lo que le están pidiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, así que acuérdense que si usted no completa con un 80 o más, no va a poder continuar con el programa. O sea, hasta aquí llegó. Entonces, no queremos que eso suceda. Por eso que me tomo mi tiempo para asegurarme que todos terminen a tiempo. Uh, acuérdense que para el, para el lunes tendrán que haber completado Section 1, Section 2, Section 3 and the midterm. Okay.
Entonces, mañana ah. que no hay clase, yo les sugiero, utilicen ese tiempo. Ustedes normalmente tienen clase de 9 a 10. Mm. Entonces, utilicen ese tiempo como que estuvieran en clase, pero para hacer la plataforma. Mauricio, you had a question? No, es claro. No, no question. No, no question. I have a question. Um, ¿Cuánto es el porcentaje que tiene cada sección? Digo porque cuando vamos avanzando eh, para poder identificar el porcentaje que llevamos, porque me imagino que no solo significa eh, completar la plataforma, sino que también estar pendiente de cuánto es el porcentaje que vamos acumulando para este para poder tener la certeza de que al final que terminamos el curso o antes de que lo terminemos e imprimamos, como dice usted, el, el, el diploma, eh, podamos estar seguros de que tenemos ese porcentaje. Sí, fíjense que, ay, es que ese detallito se me ha olvidado, se, siempre se me olvida preguntar. Vaya, eh, ahí usted va acumulando porcentaje, ¿verdad? Eh, lo, que más, la, lo que más tiene ponderación es el examen final. Lo único que no me acuerdo ahorita es el porcentaje. Creo, si no me equivoco, es que es un 40% de la nota. Entonces, si usted completa el examen final, se lo voy a poner bien, bien, bien fácil. Estrategia, esta es una estrategia que les voy a dar. Traten de concentrarse en los exámenes finales y midterm, porque son los que valen más. Teacher. Teacher, uh, yo, te, yo tengo por aquí que las cinco secciones valen 30%, el, el examen intermedio 30%, el examen final 40%. Eso nos dijeron en el módulo pasado, creo que es lo mismo. 30, 30, 40. Y uno puede eh, chequear cómo va cada vez que uno hace algo de la plataforma, porque ahí dice, entonces ahí si ha ganado el 80 o el 100% de cada, de cada la sección que uno va a completar. Correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces, algo que le vuelvo a decir, estrategia. Lo que, más, lo que más tiene ponderación es el examen final. Así que por nada del mundo vayan ustedes a perder ese examen final. Y o tampoco dejarlo así como que, ah, lo voy a hacer ahí a la carrera. Porque si lo hace a la carrera, puede ser que eso sea lo que, o sea, usted tiene, qué sé yo, imagínese, tiene, um, tiene un 100% en los ejercicios y 100% en el midterm, ya tiene su 60% ha ganado. Pero usted lo hace todo de carrera, el examen final, y solo eh, tiene un, un, un 30% en el examen final, entonces no le va a llevar la nota. Entonces, tómense su tiempo en tanto el midterm como el final exam. Sí, Karen. Yes, eh, y is there any way to return the certificate? In the case if I don't uh, print, print it, I can get um, again. Once you have asked for it, you you mean to what 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 the moment that you have already asked and, and said okay I want the certificate if you can get another one is that what you're asking? You have a microphone. Sorry, okay. you can't you can't hear me. Now yes. Okay. okay. What I was, uh, you're, what you're asking is, if you can change the certificate if you ask for the certificate but don't print it. Uh -huh. I I don't print the certificate, so I want to uh, add a, a, a curriculum. Can can I to meterme otra vez y imprimirlo? Well, si puede usted imprimir el certificado. 
Ajá, de, de los, de los ah, cursos de anteriores. Periodo. Ajá, exactly, yes. Ah, ok, buena pregunta. I don't know, I really do not know. Let me find out for you. I don't know the answer and I won't. So let me find out because I don't want to give you a wrong okay. answer. Ok, but that's a very okay. good question. That's a very good question. I'll find out. I'll tell you tomorrow. Ok. Eh, any other questions? No question, teacher. Ok, good. All right. Bye. Entonces, habiendo dicho eso, let's continue with the rest of the class. So, what I'm going to get I'm going to get you guys to do, there are 15 of you. I'm going to get you into five groups, uh, three people each. No se me vayan, por favor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, you, I, I understand internet connection problems. I understand that part, but please do not do it on purpose. Um, so, I'm going to get you to work in groups. And what I'm going to ask you to do is ask your classmate those questions. The questions that we saw before. Is there a church in your, or, or, sorry, are there any churches in your neighborhood? Are there um, any museums in your neighborhood, um, et cetera, et cetera? Ask about the people's neighborhoods. You understand neighborhoods, right? Yeah. Yeah, so vecindarios, right? Okay, so ask about the people's neighborhoods. So you're going to say, is there, uh, or better said, are there any um, uh, police stations? in your neighborhood? Are there any schools in your neighborhood, etc., etc.? Or you can ask about uncountable nouns. For example, um, is there, um, or is there any, um, yeah, is there any pollution in your neighborhood? Is there any crime in your neighborhood, etc., etc.? Okay? And you can also ask how much, so or how many. So you can say, how many parks are there in your in your neighborhood? How much crime is there in your neighborhood? <clears throat> how much violence is in your neighborhood? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then your partner is going to answer. We're using the words that we saw, a lot, a few, um, a little, not many, not much, um, some, or none, not, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I want you to do. You're going to be asking about how much exists in, your, in the neighborhood and answering with the quantifiers that we have learned. Okay? And, and we, we can use a more or less. No, no, because more and or less is comparing. Okay, so we're not going to be comparing. We're just asking about what exists and the quantity that exists. Thank you. Okay, any more questions? No question. Okay, let's get into the groups right now. I'm gonna sign the groups um, and I'm gonna open it up for let's do 10 minutes and we're ready. Go ahead and get into your groups. Hi Jenny, do you have any questions or problems to get into the to the people with uh, 
Okay. Are there any people with dogs in in your neighborhood? Oh yeah. Uh, are there many? And you, Michelle? Yes, there are. Actually, I have six dogs. So, hey. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, um, the the other question. Uh, uh, Michelle, please. Um, are there any police station around your house? neighborhood yeah yeah mm -hmm. yes uh, it's our uh, free police station around, yeah, around here and in my case no 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 are the station the police station in my neighborhood okay you no, have no. remember you have to say there is there aren't any there aren't any or there are none if you're if it's zero there aren't any or there aren't none Okay, sure. they aren't, they aren't now. Not they, but there, there, T-H-E-R-E. -E. Okay, thank you, teacher. They, there, no. there aren't none. No, there aren't any. If it's, if you're going to use negative aren't, you have to use any and if you're going to use affirmative mm -hmm. are so there are, are. none mm -hmm. aren't any are none okay okay okay, okay. There, um, there are none okay and for both yeah. are there any beauty salon in your neighborhood? Jeff? Can you repeat, please? Are there any beauty salon? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, they the corner. are no. There. There are. Don't there. confuse they and there. Yes. Um, yes, there are. The the, sal, the the beauty salon, Caddy Corner, in my house. Good, 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 very good. Yeah. Caddy Corner to my house. Uh huh. Very good. That's great. And Michelle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of San San Roque, <laughs> Economicas, <laughs> Balu. <laughs> San Nicolas, it's a lot of very good with yes, the service um, 24 hours station. Ah, okay, right. And you, uh, Jacqueline, how, how many persons are in your neighborhood in a watch up is. Um, Many, many farmers. Um, for example, the uh, form, farmers um, economica, uh, it has, no, it's have service 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Only, only for, only farmers mm. with uh, the service. Ah, okay. 
in, in my neighborhood are many too. Y San Nicolás, la económica. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Just remember, Karen, okay. in my neighborhood, there are. We need to use the word there. Okay. There are. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline, is there a supermarket in your neighborhood? Dog. Okay. Any, any dog. I love dog, pero, but I don't have dog. <laughs> Okay. Um. Isabel, how mm -hmm. many pets in your house? Okay. There are no pets Sorry, in my Sorry, house. Isabel, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to clarify something. Uh, how many pets are there in your house? Always remember, are there? Because are there means Spanish means hay, right? Cuántos, cuántas mascotas hay? Porque si no está preguntando cuántas mascotas en su casa. Um, uh, how many pets are there? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Noemi. Um, let me see. Um, are there any any house in your city? Yes, 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 there are. Here are, yes, there are any. Yes, there are some. Yes, there are, yes, there are. a few. Yes, there are a lot. Good yes, one. there are some teacher. Good. Some house, some house, sería, verdad? Some house. Some houses. Some houses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Carla. Mm. Any money? If you can say that. Is there any, any what? In your in, in your wallet. More. <laughs> in your wallet. Any in your in your neighborhood? Is there any air or a season? Yes, a lot. Ah, yes, in your case, it's a lot. In your case, Rosa? Yes, there, there is a lot. Okay. Is, is necessary, uh, is necessary uh, pronunciar is there or only short answer? A few, uh, a lot. Try to use, try to use the complete form. So yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. Try to use the complete form. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Teacher, what? And look at the difference between uh, not any and none. And we are not sure about the difference? Um, it's the same. It's just the same that the only difference is that with any, you have to use a negative verb. So you have to say, there aren't any. There isn't any. And then with, not, with none, the verb is affirmative. So you say, there are none. There is none. So it's, the difference is just that it, one you use with affirmative um, verb and the other one with negative verb. Thank you, sir. Okay. Another with 
You remember what is the word? Biblioteca. Library. All right. Yes, thanks, teacher. Library. Library. Yes, library. Great. And how many libraries in your town? How many libraries are there in your town? Don't forget to say are there because the are there is like you say in Spanish, hay. So, cuántas bibliotecas hay? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, no, no. It's okay. It, it happens. Just remember. <laughs> Oh, yes. Are there, yes. There are, there are, there are one library. There are or there is? There is. Yeah, very good. Because if, if it's only one, it's singular, right? Mm -hmm. So there is only. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay, so I think the majority, yeah, everybody's back here. Excellent. So guys, um, that were, it finishes our class for today. I hope everybody had the opportunity of being able to, um, to practice and asking the questions for their partner and answering, right? You have to know how to use the quantifiers. In fact, the quantifiers are one of the topics that are in the midterm. Any questions about quantifiers? Any question? Okay, so no questions about quantifiers? Okay, what about questions about- I need practice, I need practice teacher, thank you. Okay, no problem. What I can do is I can send you more exercises, like the ones that I sent you today. Would you like that? Yeah. Yes, I like. Yes. yes. Okay, all right. I'll send more. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you more. And the good thing about that, those kind of exercises is that you can um, see your, your the results right away, right? So, so you can see um, how much you got, if you understood it or you didn't. Okay, and also the midterm covers the past, the simple past. Remember, uh, you we looked at we looked at um, how to make this, how to create the simple past of regular verbs and irregular verbs, and questions and answers, right? With did, uh, and the frequency. Any questions about frequencies? Or about the simple past? Yeah, no question. In this moment, no question. Can say more, George? You want more, more exercise practice. for for those two? Yeah. For frequency. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sure. Okay. Good. Yeah, I can do that. I'll send you. I'll send you some more exercises. Okay. 
All right, guys, so that will be all for today. Remember, tomorrow we do not connect, but you can work in the platform so that you can, you know, go advance a little bit more, okay? All right, guys, that's it for today. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Oh, sorry, sorry, tomorrow. Sorry. Next, so sorry. next Sunday. Yeah, Monday. yeah. Monday, on Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday. And tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Good night. See you, see you next Sunday. No, Sunday, no, Monday. I'm going to be resting on Sunday. <laughs> Monday. 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 <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Everybody. Oh.